Hello everyone and welcome to today's class. So in the last class we had started with the first chapter number system, right? So we saw what are four digit numbers. So we revised what are four digit numbers which you have already learnt in third standard. Then we saw what are five digit numbers and six digit numbers. Also we saw place value chart for these uh, five digit and six digit numbers and learnt what is place value and face value right so today we are going to see how to write e numbers in expanded form and in standard form all right so what are four digit numbers when you add one to this greatest three digit number you will get the smallest four digit number right so the greatest three digit number is 999 so when you add one to that you will get 1000 which is the smallest four digit number same way we saw what are five digit numbers so when you add one to the greatest four digit number which is 9999 we get the smallest five digit number okay so 9999 plus one gives you 10,000 then we have six digit numbers what are six digit numbers when you add one to the greatest five digit number which is 99,999 we get the number which is the smallest six digit number so 99999 plus one will give you one lakh okay so we saw place value chart okay so you can divide place value chart into three periods ones period thousands period and lakhs period so ones period has the uh, places ones tens and hundreds Thousands period has thousand and ten thousand and lakhs period has ten lakhs and ten lakhs. Okay. So each period is separated using a comma and red accordingly. Alright. So now consider the number 68,375. Okay. So here 375 is in ones period and 68 is in thousands period. So how will you read the number? We read it as 68,000. 375 okay now we'll consider six digit number five six nine seven eight five okay five is in lakhs period 69 is in thousands period seven eight five is in one period so how will we read the number now five lakhs sixty nine thousand seven hundred and eighty five okay so we saw place value and face value what is place value place value of a digit depends on the position of the digit in the place value chart okay so place value of any digit will depend on its position in the place value chart so here we took the same example as the last question so 5 lakh 69785 now we'll start with the ones place okay now 5 is in ones place right the digit 5 is in ones place so place value of 5 will be 5 into 1 which is 5 or five ones okay then next we'll take tens place play here we have eight in tens place so place value of eight will be eight into ten eighty or eight tens okay now we have seven now seven is in hundreds place so place value of seven will be seven into hundred seven hundred or seven hundreds okay then next digit is thousands even which we have nine so nine into thousand nine thousand or nine thousands okay now six uh we have six in ten thousands place so six into ten sixty thousand or six ten thousands is the place value and last we have five in lakhs place which will be five into one lakh five lakhs or five lakhs okay so this is how you write place value now coming to face value what is the face value of any digit it is the digit itself okay so i have taken the example 25789 so face value of 9 is 9 itself which is in ones place face value of 8 which is in tens place is 8 7 in hundreds place is 7 only 5 in thousands place is 5 and 2 in ten thousands place is 2 okay so this is what we have studied in the last class so expanded form and standard form so what is an expanded form in expanded form we break a number according to their place value and expand it 
to show the value of each digit okay so here we have taken an example of 12456 now we'll start with the greatest place that is 10000s place here correct so here we have 1 10000s place so place value of 1 will be 1 into 10000 10000 correct next we have 2 in thousands place so place value of 2 will be 2 into 1000 2000 so how will we write this we'll write 10000 plus 2000 then we have 4 in hundreds place so plus 400 5 in tens place so that will be 5 into 10 50 and 6 in ones place so 6 into 1 6 okay so 12450 uh, 456 in expanded form is 10000 Plus two thousand plus four hundred plus fifty plus six. All right. So you can uh, we'll take one more example here now. Okay. So I have taken thirty five thousand six hundred eight. So how will we write this in expanded form? First of all, we'll start with ten thousands place. Ten thousands place we have three. So that is three into ten thousand thirty thousand. Okay. Plus we have Five in thousands place, which is five into thousand, five thousand. Then again plus in hundreds place we have six, so six into hundred, six hundred. In tens place we have zero, so you don't need to write it. Then directly we'll move on to ones place, which has eight, so eight into one is eight. Okay, so expanded form of this number is thirty thousand plus five thousand plus six hundred plus eight. All right. Now we'll see what is standard form. So standard form is nothing but it is the usual way how you write numbers. Okay. So here, for example, they have told twenty thousand plus four thousand plus three hundred plus twenty plus five is twenty four thousand three twenty five. So twenty four thousand three twenty five is the standard way or standard form of writing a number. Okay. This is how we write numbers, right? So this is called the standard form. All right. So this is expanded form and standard form. We'll see a few problems on this in your textbook. So page number five in your textbooks. They have told expanded form of a number is a way of expressing it as the sum of the place value of all its digits. Okay. It is expressed as sum of place value of all its digits. So here they have taken the example of Thirty-five thousand two sixty-nine. So thirty thousand plus five thousand plus two hundred plus sixty plus nine. Okay. Similarly, they have taken another example. Okay, so if you look at it, we have one lakh plus twenty thousand plus nine hundred plus eighty plus nine. So this uh, uh, number will be one lakh twenty thousand nine eighty nine. Okay. Now standard form. When a number is written in figures. It is known as the short form or standard form. Okay, so twenty thousand plus six thousand plus hundred plus twenty plus nine, which is twenty six thousand one twenty nine. Okay, so this is the standard form of this expansion. All right, so now we'll do my practice time two questions on page number six in your textbooks. So first question is to expand the following numbers. Okay, so let's do that. So first one is fifty eight thousand seven ninety two. So how will you expand it? Five is in ten thousands place, so it will be fifty thousand plus eight thousand because eight is in thousands place. Then seven hundred plus ninety plus two. Okay. So fifty thousand plus eighty thousand plus seven hundred plus ninety plus two is the answer for the first one. Next. Second question: seventy thousand six fifty four. How do you expand this? So it will be ten thousand plus seven thousand plus six hundred plus fifty plus four. Okay. Next we have. Ah, uh, we'll take question E. Okay, we'll take question E. So C and D you'll do for homework. The same as question, almost similar as A and B. So C, D you'll do for homework. We'll do question E. Which is eight lakh ninety seven thousand six fifty three. So how will you write it? It will be eight lakhs plus ninety thousand plus seven thousand plus six hundred plus fifty plus 
थ्री ओके नेक्स्ट वी हैव द नंबर टू लैख सिक्स हंड्रेड सेवेंटी सो दैट विल बी टू लैक्स प्लस सिक्स हंड्रेड प्लस सेवेंटी नाउ वी हैव जीरो इन थाउजेंड्स टेन थाउजेंड्स एंड वंस प्लेस सो विल नॉट मैंशन दैम एट ऑल ओके विल जस्ट मैंशन द नॉन डिजिट्स प्लेस वैल्यूज या ऑल राइट सो दिस इज हाउ यू एक्सपांड द नंबर ओके सो सी डी जी एच एंड आई यूल ट्राई टू डू ऑन योर ओन ऑल राइट एंड डू इट इन योर नोटबुक्स डोंट राइट हेयर बिकॉज यूल डोंट हैव प्लेस ऑल राइट नाउ मूविंग ऑन टू क्वेश्चन टू ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड प्लस फाइव थाउजेंड प्लस सिक्स हंड्रेड प्लस नाइन्टी प्लस फाइव सो वी हैव टू राइट इट इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म सो हाउ विल वी राइट इट इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म नाउ इट विल बी टू इन टेन थाउजेंड प्लेस फाइव इन थाउजेंड्स प्लेस देन सिक्स इन हंड्रेड्स नाइन इन टेन्स एंड फाइव इन वंस ओके सो ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड सिक्स नाइन्टी फाइव नेक्स्ट वन फिफ्टी थाउजेंड प्लस सेवन थाउजेंड प्लस नाइन हंड्रेड प्लस फिफ्टी प्लस नाइन सो फाइव सेवन नाइन फाइव नाइन ओके हेयर दे हैव गिवन वन इन टू टेन थाउजेंड प्लस सेवन इन टू हंड्रेड प्लस टू इन टू टेन प्लस थ्री इन टू वन सो इन टेन थाउजेंड प्लेस वॉट इज द डिजिट इट इज वन सो विल राइट वन देन दे हैव नॉट गिवन एनी थिंग इन टू थाउजेंड सो इट विल बी जीरो हंड्रेड्स प्लेस इज सेवन इन टू हंड्रेड सो सेवन देन टू इन टू टेन इज टेन प्लेस सो दैट विल बी टू एंड थ्री इन टू वन मीन्स वन प्लेस सो थ्री ओके सो नेक्स्ट वन वन लैख प्लस सिक्सटी थाउजेंड प्लस सेवन हंड्रेड प्लस ट्वेंटी प्लस सेवन सो वन इन लैक्स प्लेस In ten thousands place we have six. We don't have anything in thousands place because it's zero. So we'll put zero, then seven in hundreds, then two and seven. Okay. Now similarly, I'll do the last two questions for homework. All right. Next, they have told you write the following numbers in expanded form. How will you do this? They are. Uh, they have told thirteen thousand sixteen. This is the number. The number is thirteen thousand sixteen. So thirteen thousand. So there's we have ten thousand in one in ten thousand place. So that will be ten thousand plus three in thousand place. So three thousand. Now we don't have anything in hundred. So that will be zero. Sixteen is there. So that will be ten plus six. Correct. Then eighty nine thousand six hundred twenty nine. So eighty thousand plus nine thousand. Plus six hundred plus twenty plus five. So reading the number names first, what you can do is you can write them in figures. Then you can write them in the expanded form. Okay. C one you will do for homework. D one eight lakh one thousand eleven. So in lakhs place we have eight. So that will be eight lakhs. Then we don't have anything in ten uh, thousands place. In thousands place we have one. So that will be one thousand. And we ha don't have anything in hundreds place again, so that will be zero. Eleven means it will be ten plus one. Correct. So this was expanded form in short form. Alright. So do question C and E E here for homework, and we'll continue in the next class with comparing numbers and ascending and descending orders. Alright. I'll see you all in the next class, students. Thank you.